with an explosion the size of a moderate earthquake and the uncontainable glee of a state news anchor. Kim Jong-un makes his rivals shudder and sends intelligence agencies scrambling. A senior U.S. official tells CNN North Korea's nuclear test, whether it's a hydrogen bomb or not, is very concerning. Analysts give a stark assessment of the danger. North Korea is moving ever closer to a deliverable nuclear warhead that is miniaturized, that can hit uh, Japan, Guam, American territory, perhaps Hawaii or the West Coast. That's where they're moving. Um, and they're doing it with impunity. From Seoul to Washington, officials tonight are assessing Kim's motives. One possibility, he's signaling his enemies, who he sees everywhere. Kim Jong-un is facing um, threats from all fronts, domestically, uh, internally, uh, from his elites. Um, and so he has to be able to manage and control all of that internally. But of course, there's always the threat that North Korea believes comes from its external environment. External rivals like South Korea and the U.S. Kim can't compete with them with his conventional military and needs nuclear weapons to balance the field. But he's got another possible motive with his outside rivals. With nuclear weapons, they can blackmail, intimidate, and threaten the United States, Japan, South Korea, China to get economic aid, sanctions relief, and other things to preserve their regime. A U.S. official says this test could be an important ramp-up to the highly anticipated Congress of the Korean Workers' Party in May. North Korea hasn't held such an event for 36 years. And at that gathering of the elites, Kim is expected to consolidate his rule, shift more power from the military to himself. Experts believe Kim's flexing his nuclear muscles now because the internal threats he faces are constant. He has to be more fearful every morning he wakes up that he won't get a bullet in his head. There are general officers inside North Korea who can't mobilize against him. But if they had an opportunity to take him out in the future, I think he can't rest peacefully about that. Now, a key question tonight, if Kim finally develops a deliverable nuclear weapon, is he dangerous enough, unstable enough to actually use it? Most analysts believe he would not launch a nuclear weapon just to provoke, but he could do it if he's desperate or if there's another standoff like the one he had with South Korea last summer, he could miscalculate in an instance like that, Wolf, and that's what makes this situation so very dangerous tonight.